and our hearts go out to the family of this congresswoman. Horrible, horrible story. Meanwhile, there's a lot of speculation humming around that the Justice Department is focusing in on a criminal investigation of President Trump. According to Andrew McCarthy over at National Review, the Justice Department's issuance of a grand jury subpoena to former White House counsel Pat Cipollone signals the criminal investigation of former President Trump is ramping up. Last month, Cipollone agreed to sit for an interview with the House January 6th committee. It's important to understand that was a heavily negotiated appearance in which conditions laid out by Cipollone had to be accommodated. Under DOJ guidance that has long been followed by administrations of both parties, the president's top advisors claim absolute immunity from compliance with congressional subpoenas. Moreover, as the lawyer for the president, the White House counsel is obliged by attorney-client privilege to maintain the confidentiality of communications. The theory of executive immunity from congressional information demands is rooted in the separation of powers of the Constitution. Ordinarily, this immunity is aggressively defended by the DOJ, an important executive branch component. It's notable that the DOJ has substantially refrained from defending executive privilege in connection 